Good morning, brothers and sisters. Today I would like to share a little part of Judges 6. It's the beginning part of Gideon's story, and it's called Wheat in the Wine Press. You know, I don't know about you, but change is a very uncomfortable thing for me. Until now, I didn't realize how much comfort I take in my daily routine, in my plan, in doing things my way, over and over again, often the same way day after day. Yet now we find ourselves, I find myself forced into change. Our routine has changed, where we spend our days have changed, even the way we interact with others has changed. We've been forced and given an order to isolate and place. Today I'd like to briefly remind us of how God often uses very uncomfortable, even oppressive circumstances in our lives to meet us right where we are in a very special way. Remembering always that God has a purpose with all, for all things for those who love him, and he will use all things for his purposes to be accomplished for those who will listen and be used. In the beginning of Judges 6, as a direct result of their disobedience, their idolatry, we find God's chosen people under seven years of oppression from the Midianites. Israel is forced to isolate in place, even hide, often retreating into caves in the mountains. In Judges 6, beginning in verse 11, we meet Gideon. And the message I want to share to you today is about God reaching out to a young man and a young man responding to God. It says the angel of the Lord came down and sat under the oak in Oprah that belonged to Joash, Gideon's father. And Gideon, his youngest son, was threshing wheat in the wine press to hide it from the Midianites. Gideon was hiding in a wine press. You see, the enemy would never look in the wine press because they had already taken all the grapes for wine. They had stolen them. They had stolen the harvest. No, Gideon had gotten a few sheaves from the field and he had brought them home to have them privately threshed for his family. You know, often the wine press was carved out of the ground. It was lower than the ground around it. So this was truly a very, very private place. And you couldn't thresh a lot of wheat in a wine press because there was no air or there was no heavy machinery that could be used. No, it had to be done by hand. You know, the wheat in the wine press represents what God is speaking to you right now. What is God saying to you? What word is the Lord speaking to you? We need to take that word. We need to get into that private place. Maybe even Gideon had to be on his knees and he had to thresh that wheat by hand. He had to separate that very special, special wheat because remember that was, the, that was going to be the bread for his family to sustain him now, today. It wasn't the bread for the village. It was the bread for his own belly. It was the bread he was going to ingest and bring nourishment to himself and his own family. It was very, very intimate. And if you get to a place where you'll take the time and take the word that the Lord has given you and you'll bear it out and you'll get away with God, you'll have an encounter with him. It says, Then the angel of the Lord appeared to Gideon and he said, the Lord is with you, mighty warrior. I wonder if God would have met Gideon, except that Gideon had humbled himself and taken and stole away those few sheaves for his family so he could make bread. Brothers and sisters, we need to separate ourselves so that God can reach out to us and speak things, wonderful things into our lives about today and about the future. You know, there's a lot more in the story. There's a lot of great things to say and add, 
But this is the one thing I would like to say before we close. After Gideon gives God excuses why they're in the predicament that they are, why the circumstances of the world are the way they are, the Lord turns to Gideon after all this complaining, all this questioning, and says this, And the Lord turned to him and said, Go in the strength that you have and save Israel out of Midian's hand. Am I not sending you? And that's the question I feel God is asking me today. Am I not sending you? Go in the strength that you have. It's enough. You don't need to get strong. Just go in the strength that you have because guess what? I'll be your strength. I'm going to help you do mighty, wonderful things. You know, the angel of the Lord visited Gideon to commission him and to send him to be used as God's hand. He personally visited Gideon in order to inspire him with three things. Supernatural courage, supernatural confidence, to have supernatural success. And brothers and sisters, that's my prayer for you, that we would use the opportunity that we've been given to get close with God, to separate ourselves to him and let God speak things to your heart, to be encouraged, to have our confidence built up. And then brothers and sisters, to be used mightily in his hands for a supernatural result for God's plan. My hope for you, brothers and sisters, is that today you'll bring your wheat to the wine press and experience what God will do. God bless you.